Since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Sweden has transferred more than 15 defense aid packages to Kyiv. These include artillery shells and self-propelled guns, anti-aircraft missile systems, anti-tank missiles and combat boats. Now Ukraine will be able to use the weapons given by Sweden to strike Russia. According to the country's defense minister, the Swedish government should defend this stance in front of other Western countries as well, not only behind closed doors, but also publicly. Ukraine is being subjected to an unprovoked and illegal war of aggression by Russia. According to international law, Ukraine has the right to defend itself through military actions aimed at the enemy's territory, if the military actions are in accordance with the laws of war. Sweden supports international law and Ukraine's right to defense. Paul Johnson, Minister of Defense of Sweden, in a comment to Holland Sposten. Paul Johnson has expressed Sweden's position after the NATO Secretary General called for reconsidering the ban on strikes on military facilities on Russian territory. Jens Stoltenberg stressed that this was an implementation of Ukraine's right to self-defense. In his opinion, when the front line is closer to the border, as it is in the Kharkiv region, the ban on strikes against Russian military on the territory of the Federation reduces the capabilities of Ukrainian defense forces. I believe the time has come for allies to uh, consider whether they should lift uh, some of the restrictions they have imposed uh, on uh, weapons donated to Ukraine. Um, because we need to remember what this is. This is a, a war of aggression by Russia against Ukraine. Ukraine has the right to defend themselves. And that includes also uh, striking targets on Russian territory. Earlier, UK Foreign Secretary David Cameron said that Ukraine had the right to strike Russia with British weapons. Ukraine also received permission from Latvia to launch strikes with Western weapons on the territory of the aggressor country. At the same time, several European countries are still discussing the issue. Some of them rejected Stoltenberg. Offer. I don't know why Stoltenberg is saying something like that, because I think we need to be careful. NATO should be tough and without uncertainty, but I recommend caution. There are clear rules for the supply of German weapons, which have been agreed with Ukraine and which are working. At least this is my position. The main reason for the ban is the desire of Western leaders to avoid escalation, especially in the context of the use of tactical nuclear weapons by Russia, The Economist has said. But according to the Ukrainian foreign minister, Moscow's blackmail is unjustified. There is no time for reflection. Action is needed. What needs to be done is quite clear. To provide Ukraine with additional Patriot and other modern air defense systems, as well as to support Ukrainian attacks on military targets in Russia. The free world has much greater economic and military potential than its enemies, but they have more determination. While there are still those in the West who wonder how Moscow will react to Ukrainian strikes on Russian military targets, Putin simply strikes where he wants and how he wants. Dmitro Kuleba, Ukrainian foreign minister, at a meeting of the Council of Foreign Ministers of the European Union. The United States may abandon the ban on hitting military facilities on Russian territory with its weapons. During a visit to Kyiv in mid-May, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said that Ukraine itself should decide how to use U.S. weapons. A few days later, some U.S. senators supported this position. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Valeria Nikopelova, UATV News.